Namaste friends. Welcome to Art and Tarot. In this channel we talk about different tarot videos and covering different tarot cards. In this video I'm going to talk about the Wheel of Fortune. Very special card. It's also known as the card of change and it's also known as the there is a story behind it that this too shall pass like nothing is here permanent there are good times there are bad times but there is nothing which is there which is going to stay but if we see the wheel if we see in between the wheel the axle this is the only point which doesn't move which is still so when you are on the circle which when you are on the circumference wherever you are on the wheel you are moving that change is going to happen it is not still it is only when you come to the center there is stillness there is no movement there is no change but reaching that point also will mean that you need that the circle will be completed so from the spiritual point of view the card basically says that when like on the outside world there will be devil there will be the angels there will be good powers there will be bad powers there will be all mixture of these things the black and white the yin and yang everything will be there and they are all in kind of uh, balance with each other so when you're living in the world this card will it will mean that it is you will be experiencing the ups and downs of life the beautiful and the ugly parts the good and the bad parts so the card is just trying to tell you is like nothing is there which is permanent when there are good times you just have to remember this too shall pass when there are bad times you should always remember this too shall pass so there is also a story of the king which which has been told to me by my master the story is such that the king called his wizards and the intelligent people in his court and told him give me a mantra give me a sutra which i can always make use of in emergency when i have nothing and i when i read that sutra i will be out of that situation but remember that sutra has to be only one line don't give me like these big lines of mantras and everything i don't want to memorize that just give me one line which will always stay with me which i can use all the time so these uh, intelligent people in the court they thought a lot and they took days and they came to a conclusion and what they did is they write that they, they wrote this uh, one line in a piece of paper and they put it fold it into the ring and they told the king to wear this ring but you only open it when you have no other choice when you are at the end of of a point where you don't have where you are just about to die or anything like this is the last stage so you open it then and this line this mantra is going to work for you so the king said okay fine and uh, although he wanted to open it a lot he wanted to see like what the message is but he stayed he waited for it he waited for the right time but he almost forgot after few months he was attacked by another king and he was running away from his horse he was he was hiding in the bushes and all then he saw that probably that the the people who were following him have seen him and they were about to come and kill him when they were about to come he was still thinking he was he was thinking of you know opening the ring and reading the message when he was about to open it he he said like let me wait it's not really the end of the world but he saw 
he waited for some time and then he saw that these people are really coming and I might die and I won't be able to read the message what it is trying to tell me at that moment he opened up the message and what he saw was there was this one line this too shall pass and suddenly there was this transformation everything changed he gave up he was just totally back to his body he was running away he gave up the running he said like let it be the moment this thought came to him suddenly this magic happened that the horse turned they could not spot him they went away and of course after some time he won the battle again and he was king again and there was all these riches and all these celebration happening around him then also he remembered let me just see the message again and he opened up and he read this message this too shall pass and again there was this transformation in him he was again there was this gap there was distance between the celebration also and this is what the king realized that he is neither this neither that so with both the good times and the bad times if you could remember that this too shall pass don't get too attached to it so this card is basically bring you that message that remember everything is passing like don't get too attached only when there is this distance which is created there is this witnessing which is being created between you and the good or the bad suddenly there is you start becoming you start coming to the center and that is what the card aims at come to the center don't just go around the change come to the point of not changing and once you are at non changing you are in peace you are in ultimate peace this is what people or this is what the masses call it samadhi or the ultimate salvation so you see the every tarot cards gives you a very deep message and the wheel of fortune gave us the message of coming back to your own center instead of going out so wheel of wheel of fortune I hope you like the video. Do comment and like and subscribe and be in touch. Thank you.